All right, hi everybody. So what I'm gonna try and do is something that's hard for me. I'm gonna try to cast on and do a left-handed to show the left-handers in our class. Uh, what I would suggest to do is to go ahead and work with the right-handed videos just to see what it's like and then try the left-handed videos. Yeah, what I what often happens, you'll it'll make sense to you, and you'll find a preference for which one you prefer to do. What most left-handers do is they say, "Oh, I could learn, I can knit right-handed, or I can learn right-handed." But left-handed just feels so much easier because you're using your dominant hand, particularly to hold the, and move the, the yarn around rather than your right hand. So again. We're just gonna cast on 15 stitches. Start with one um, loop here, yeah? I'm doing the, um, the opposite. So rather than put it in this hand, I'm doing it on the other hand here. So I think of this as the letter Q, like a cursive Q. I'm gonna then reach through and pull this and again, I know that it's a proper slip knot because if I pull the ball end of the yarn, my knot gets tighter. And if I pull the tail end of the yarn, it grabs hold of the knitting needle. Yeah, so that I get, I get that. Yeah, and you'll notice I put the knitting needle in my left hand to do that. Now, casting on. The simplest way, if I pull this and I twist it, so again, oh, let me make sure I'm in the picture. If I twist this, I'm twisting this way and putting it on the knitting needle to come in. So you can do this 15 times. Another thing, by grabbing, you can create this loop and bring it that way. Loop, I go in here and around. I'm actually not so bad. I'm afraid of it, <laughs> the left-handedness of it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here's seven. And again, if I want to twist this way, there's eight. Just like before, not too tight, nice and easy. And you see, that's a mistake. See how I didn't get the whole loop? I want to try and make sure I get all in the middle of the yarn loop, not through the yarn. That's actually a good mistake to show. Yeah, so three, six, nine, twelve. 15. I actually got 16, so I'm going to take one of them off. And like I said before, when you do this, feel free to now take it off and repeat. And I'll go ahead. Why not? I'm practicing my left-handedness here. Practice the whole thing again. So if I create that letter Q, I go in with the needle. I pull it, ah, pull it out, <laughs> find that loop. And again, I know it's a good knot when the ball end tightens the knot, the tail end makes it grab hold of the knitting needle. Yeah. So that's one, here's two, three, ah, again, bad one. I've shown all the mistakes. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's do the last three the other way. Where we take it, I twist this, put it on, and pull the tail or the ball end. So that should be 15 easy loops there, yeah. 
right, that's the end of our video. That's the beginning of left-handed, so that's a left-handed cast on of 15 stitches. It's the beginning of our scarf. This little edge down here in the bottom, all lined up, is the very first edge of our scarf.